This is Sparta! <laughs> Welcome my fellow subscribers to a new zombies video today I am bringing you my top 10 best guns and also weapons on the new zombies map Go Rod Crovey now this is a very unique top 10 ladies and gentlemen it's not it's not like everyone else's where they just put 10 top tier guns on their video you have to keep in mind that you're not getting the top tier guns uh, at the start of the game right you have to kind of use weaker guns first and work your way until you get the big ones right the big boys so i think that the weaker ones are also very important and uh, i decided to include some of them on this video in fact you're gonna find like on this video a mix of you know a mix of everything pretty much melee weapons smgs assault rifles shotguns um sniper rifles lmgs wall guns mystery box guns weapons a little bit of everything as i said so we're gonna start off with something you are probably not expecting to be on this video because this is a top 10 best guns and best weapons on goral Krovi. and then we have at the number 10 position d bowie knife and at this point you're probably thinking well this guy's crazy the, this guy's crazy the bowie knife is a complete piece of shit you have the sword you have the axe and whatever which are much better and yes they are better but you have to complete a you know a time challenge you have to get to a certain round in a certain amount of time whatever something like that and i don't really care about melee weapons but i do care about the bowie knife for one simple reason the bowie knife is great for getting a lot of points on the initial rounds and that way you're going to be able to set up much faster you're going to get by nothing only you get way more points than by using a gun you don't have to buy ammo therefore you're not going to waste any points and it's a one hit kill until round 10 so you will always be safe pretty much until round 10 i don't even get jug most of the time i know that i'm going to be safe with the bowie knife and you don't have to complete a challenge to get it you just buy it off the wall so that's why I decided to include the bowie knife on this top 10 because it is great for the initial initial rounds because it's gonna allow you to set up faster it's gonna allow you to get more points so that you can buy your weapons or guns and also your perks at the number nine position we have three wall guns so we have the cuda we have the kn94 and the m8 usually i only get the cuda on the first rounds so that i can get more points usually after round 10 or something uh, or if i am in trouble because yes i use the bowie knife but i always like to have a gun a good gun with me in case more than one zombie appears because it's a very bad idea to knife like three or four zombies that are together um so yes i like using the cuda on the initial rounds when i'm running around or if i run out of ammo i'll just grab a cuda i also love the kn94 and the m8 because because they are located on very good camping spots and also on very good rape training spots the k94 is located on my favorite uh, rape training spot and you know it's definitely very good there's a lot of space you'll never get trapped there and you can also camp by the dragon stop if you have one uh, teammate with you you can uh, secure uh, all the entrances where the uh, zombies can come from you can also use the trap so it is pretty cool to use the k94 on this spot and the m8 is also located on a good spot for rape training i like rape training by the stairs or by the steps whatever and if i also want to camp by the dragon stop i can camp there and i will never run out of ammo because i have the m8 right there on the wall at the number eight position we have the beast known as the haymaker this is a complete killing machine at close quarters in fact that's where you want to use the haymaker at close quarters um it's not very good for rape training it's not very good for camping because you will burn through ammo very very quickly so i like having the haymaker on my pocket if i am using mule kick just in case i need to run through the map through those deadly corners where ugly ass zombies like to appear like magic in front of you tight corridors if i need to go to the other side of the map to revive a teammate i'll just pull out of the haymaker if i have it and any zombies coming around the corner trying to surprise motherfucker me will get instant instantly destroyed instant melted so that's why i love i love the, the the haymaker as i said only for when i'm 
uh, traversing the map going through those around those deadly corners next we have at the number seven position the good old reagan i love the reagan unfortunately the reagan isn't very good for running around like the like the haymaker every time i see noob getting a reagan uh, in the mystery box i know he's gonna fucking die because noobs like spamming that shit like crazy and if a zombie comes around the corner and if you start firing your reagan you'll get hit by the splash damage and you will die most of the time i must say this though it feels that the splash damage on gorod Krovi when it comes to the reagan isn't as strong so you kind of can you can get away with a little bit so i like using the reagan on the first rounds and it's also very good for it's good for reagan training all right just make a group of zombies just let all the zombies spawn once they are all cozy all together in a very huge large train just fire your reagan it is very good and it's also good for camping next we have ladies and gentlemen the draken at the number six position the draken is an absolute beast it has a very high damage unfortunately i don't really like the sniper rifles to be honest but this one is a beast because you can as i said it has a very good damage and you can spam shots for days i can kind of see it more as um, you know more as a gun for camping it's good for camping it's not really good for running around because as i said you're gonna burn uh, just like the haymaker and whatever you're gonna burn through ammo very very quickly it seems that the dragon doesn't have a lot of ammo it has a nice huge clip and i like that about the dragon next we have at the number five position the good old ppsh which everyone loves this gun was in world of war it was also in black ops one i believe and uh, now it came back in black ops 3 everyone loves this bad boy it is an smg which is insane i didn't know it was an smg at first i thought it was an lmg it's an smg with the ammo capacity of an LMG so pretty much you are running around with, a, with an LMG with the mobility and the hip fire capability of an SMG which is absolutely insane so this gun is very good for rape training and if you want to camp it's also very good for that and ladies and gentlemen the next four things you are about to witness on this video are part of my dream setup if one day i can have all these four things at the same time i'll just i'll be my my dream will be realized i'll just i'll, pr I'll pretty much be unstoppable i will be able to get to round fucking a thousand with my boys at the number four position we have the shadow claw now the shadow claw you might be thinking whoa the shadow claw is a piece of shit why is it in fourth place well if you pack a punch the shadow claw you can revive your teammates by shooting them with uh, with the with the, the weapon itself which is pretty cool so you can revive your teammates from a mile away which is awesome you don't have to get near them which is very very dangerous in black ops 3 i had no problem no difficulty reviving people in black ops 1 and in black ops 2 because zombies were not super fast uh, athletes all right they are fucking athletes in black ops 3 i don't know why they're, they're fucking muscles meat and whatever is all rotten but they run faster than people with you know normal muscles and whatever that uh, are in very good condition it just makes no fucking sense to be honest but uh, yeah that's why i decided to put the shadow claw in fourth place because uh yes it doesn't get you kills but it's very important because with a shadow claw you are able to keep your teammates alive especially if if a teammate goes down with the reagan mark three or something you want that guy to stay alive you don't want him to die because he has the best gun in the game at the number three position we have the zombie shield it is very important to try to get the zombie shield as fast as possible because this thing is like having a second juggernaut on your back and at the same time it's like a wonder weapon because the special attack on the shield is absolutely biblical you can fire uh green some green stuff i don't know what, uh, how it's called it's called fire or something fire attack um which is fucking awesome i think that after round 50 the fire attack the special attack of the shield still kills zombies and it is a one hit kill against the uh, mangled sword uh, mangled soldier the, the the boss or whatever so it's pretty cool and obviously if you don't have a good gun to kill zombies and uh, if zombies appear in front of you out of nowhere if you're about to die just pull out your shield and use the special attack it's like having a wonder weapon as i said at the number two position we have the dingo this lmg is freaking insane it has an insane 
ammo capacity so it's very good for camping all right so if you decide to camp on this map which is probably the best choice because there's only like one or two very good rape training spots and if you're playing with four people then you're not gonna be able to rape train with them if you're gonna camp use a fucking dingo this thing will allow you to fire shots spam shots for days no zombie will be able to touch you unless you don't have speed cola because if you don't have that perk oh my god it takes you three fucking ears to reload this thing but as I said you can just fire it's like it's like having a minigun it's like having a death machine I fucking love the dingo and finally ladies and gentlemen we have you know what we have in first place the Reagan Mark 3 this thing is an absolute beast you can use it for camping you can use it for raid training it is just insane I love this gun it is an akimbo gun the one on the right is like the Reagan Mark 2 uh, the Reagan Mark 2 it fires little laser like on Star Wars and the one on the left fires the circle that stops zombies for a little bit but if you fire a couple of lasers into uh, that circle then it will swallow and uh, kind of like uh, destroy all the zombies around it near it which is pretty cool so there you go ladies and gentlemen this is my top 10 best guns and also cheeky weapons in the new zombies map go rod crovy as i said i didn't want to just put top tier weapons and guns on this top 10 because you're not gonna get them from the beginning and i think that the guns you get on the beginning are also very important because they allow you to get to the top tier guns and uh, just let me know if you agree with this top 10 um if i didn't put a gun you like very much uh, that is on this map let me know in the comment section below i'll see you next time peace out